needs to go to London because yeah. it well because right now everything is falling apart over there. And so is it I'm as like bad as the Olympics has fallen? Dude, yes. their their prime minister resigned yeah. last night. He was like, all right, like, peace, I'm out. Yeah. So that, imagine, okay, so from what I've gathered as far as this whole the Brexit thing, yes. I mean this is this is Sunday now, so this happened this is a couple days ago. Like Disclaimer, we're recording this. We're Americans. Yeah, Here we, we, go. we are right, very, right, right, yeah. very naive. Let's get political. I'm, I'm political. <laughs> That people love that. Yeah, that's I'm why not, we're doing it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about whether or not it was a smart idea or a bad idea. I'm just gonna talk about some repercussions. Like, I mean, that's up to you to decide. I'm clearly not European or from the UK, so I have no right to talking about what I believe is. is do it anyway. But now I'm gonna talk about yes. it. Yeah, let's do it. But the repercussions. That's also the American way. Basically, the the way the economy works over there is. Uh, so imagine like the equivalent of that I read. The equivalent of. Uh, the UK leaving the European, uh, the European, European Union, Union, Union the yeah. EU, is imagine EU. if California and Florida just left the United States. Like, just the, the economy from the Florida and California. Like, That's a lot. It's like, it's yeah. a sixth of the we European Union. Like, there's 27 money? countries in it, and like, Gone. you know, I guess Scotland, Ireland, and, and, and England all just left now. Like, the UK left. It's like, holy crap. And so now, like the European dollar, I mean, or the the you know the the uh, euro is like tanking because now England is no or you know the UK is no longer going to be a part of it, and everything's falling to shit over but there. But how is and the so, pound in in respect to that too? Now? Well, the pound is also know. sinking too. Yeah, that's so, what I heard. It so was the the pound is actually uh, the, the, I want to say it was the pound is lower now or is it, it's at its lowest since it's been since 1985 to the American dollar. So the American dollar is worth a lot more now. So if you ever wanted to go fly to Europe, now is the time to buy your tickets. Do you think they'll so, also okay, like use go. this as an opportunity to come up with a new currency for them? Yeah, <laughs> maybe come up with like the fluffy, yeah, or something well, like that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. The pretty pence. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. I like the, the pretty, pretty pence. That's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be one floofa nickel. <laughs> what they're saying now is like uh, with with England or with the UK leaving. Um, the problem, well, not the problem, but the, uh, one of the issues was Scotland. The entire, like, everyone in Scotland voted, like, the majority of Scotland, um, literally every, I guess, region, I don't know what they're called over there, is count, not counting. Voted but to stay. They voted to stay. Whoops. But England is so much more populous that their votes kind of overrode everything else. And so they're like, well, you're coming with us. And so Too they bad, them. Scotland. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, Austin typically votes very liberal, whereas the rest of Texas, Texas votes. very Republican. Yeah, very right. Republican. So it's like, we just get pulled along with them. So and same like, sort of hey. deal. Yeah. But, uh, but now, um. You know what Scotland should do? What's that? They should secede from the UK. Yeah, that's, that's what mean. they should do right now. That's honestly what they're talking about. I think they, they were, yeah. that was been a discussion for a while, yeah. hasn't it? Well, I, I'm not sure exactly. All of it. I, yeah, again, I don't. I'm like, I'm don't take no, my Jack, word. Jack's an expert Please on look the it UK. Up Someone's yourself. tweeting you right now about how fucking ignorant yeah, you are. like I'm, I'm getting tweets three days in advance. <laughs> like I just feel that you're talking shit. I love Scotland. But so now, like, <laughs> but now that the UK's left, now that it sounds pride. like other countries are like, oh, if they're leaving, we, we should just leave too because. It's all about to go to hell. And Everyone's so, going to go solo. Yeah, gonna be like, their albums will do well. Yeah, no. and so We've learned from boy bands in the past. It never works unless you're Justin Timberlake. Right, and you're not. Never, you know what, Scotland? Yeah. You're not fucking Justin yeah, Timberlake. But, but England you're Joey Fatone, be, Scotland. England you're the Joey be, Fatone of the UK. Yeah, but no, 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 Joey Fatone's done quite well for himself, okay? We had He's this had argument, host too. host job after host job That's after true. host job. What has Lance Bass and Chris Kirkpatrick done? Chris Kirkpatrick was in nothing. an episode of Fairly Odd Nothing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So. Fucking, fucking, uh, Justin Timberlake and Joey Fatone mm. have made careers post this true. Lance Bass really, almost went to space? Yeah, yeah but he almost. didn't. Oh, that's right, he but almost he, went to space. But he didn't. Yeah. Who's didn't. the other one? There was, like, the other pretty boy, Kelly Joe like no, that No, that was, uh, JC. JC. JC they were, like, the two front men. Yeah, it was, like, JC and Justin. Yeah, yeah. And they both had solo careers. Yeah. And JC had, like... Some immediate success, but then after that, yeah. pff, nobody cares. Yeah, Timberlake, he just like, exploded. Oh, yeah. He's yeah, doing yeah. his own thing. Yeah. Anyway, that's a, that was a, that was a hard right turn. Yeah, <laughs> okay. No, it's all, it all ties in. It all, it's it all, it all, it all, all yeah. yeah. Anyway, so hopefully, like poetry. Like, it rhymes. So I've been talking with Joel about this, trying to Just figure out. He, like, I'm trying to figure out. Of course, talking with Joel about. I mean, this. dude, Joel. I mean, like, as as dumb as Joel <laughs> plays, he is incredibly this smart. This is actually funny. I'm assuming it has a lot to do with that. And the economy yeah, yeah, and the market, which is funny because a couple weeks ago, it said, I, I said why I don't follow Joel on Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's fucking hilarious, and everything Joel does is funny, but his Twitter is like 90% oh, yeah. stock and gold and shit like that. I looked at his tweet this morning, which is after 
a day of just like Joel's yeah, yeah. going nuts over everything you've just described. I saw his tweet this morning that was like, ha ha, lost a thousand followers yesterday. <laughs> just <laughs> based on him just fucking going on oh, a tirade, dude. like ranting so, about everything. One of, one of Joel's most popular kind of rants <laughs> on, on the RT podcast was the whole double goal. Like, right, right, DIY, right, right, right. DIY, yeah. double goal. Like, Someone, I, someone did the math. If you would have put like a thousand dollars into that, you would have like I want to say like ten thousand dollars today. Like if you would have listened then, it would have like it's blown up so much. Like yeah. like the the gold stuff. I mean, so with the, what happens when when uh, when money, when paper money starts deflating, um, is gold, which is a, you know a stock. It's a limited stock of, of you know gold. It's a precious right, metal. Physical. Thing. It goes up, and so like when once people start freaking out about paper money, especially with the European Union kind of falling apart, or not falling apart, but like getting weaker, the American apart. dollars kind of like <laughs> they're, they're, well, they're, they're destroyed. I mean, like with the Jack, pound, everything, own everything's getting weird right now, and so gold is like one of the few things. It's like yeah, this is a physical item, and so yeah. it's like Whoo, so it raised up so. Uh, like any, uh, smart people could have made a lot of money. Yeah. Right, <laughs> Fucking so. Joel! Yeah. After we finished, we finished selling it. <laughs> we yeah. did the rap thing, right? And uh, we're done. Like so, after we finished the rap thing, we walk out of the booth, and Joel's like, "You know, I started a uh, like a project for this. I don't know if you've started it or not. Like, you know, here, come, let, let me show you." So, like, we go into Joel's office, and he had this premiere project where he had taken the old rap battle, the one that I just made, like with my voice. And he was starting to put a little video together over it, and literally it was just clips from the old rap battle, but every now and again, like, a graph for gold and stuff would flash <laughs> over it, and, like, and, like, it was just edited Joel style, like, it would do that, God and damn. then, like, you know, it would be the song, and then all of a sudden it would just, like, cut out to, like, cinnamon, cinnamon, <laughs> like, from the thing, and, like, Oh my god! Oh, maybe we can release that, like the Joel version. I was like, yeah, Joel. yeah, yeah, yeah. Joel's yeah. version. Yeah, and uh, and then like, then yeah. he can release Caboose's version. Oh, I was like, him screaming. Yeah. I was like, I like how the graph just kind of popped up there, Joel. And he was like, oh yeah, this graph. And he scrolled to it, and it was like the gra- and he goes, yeah, let me show you what's happening. Yeah, and he yeah. like, I was like, no, 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 no. Like yeah, I gotta yeah. go. I gotta go. Yeah, like, I don't need to know. I, I can't know. stay here for this right no, now. It's, like, that's dude. Back in back in the old six three six office when Joel's like, hey, I need you to record something with me. I would always get so excited because I know like that dude. He'll spend like a month working on one video yeah. and getting it like just perfect. And then like he like the cinnamon no video was something. I was like the <laughs> laugh you hear. It's funny. I rewatched that. I rewatched the Cinnamon No video recently. I literally laugh at the same point I'm laughing in the video because yeah. yeah. it's so genuine. It happens it's all like, time. It's so yeah. damn That's funny. That's the best too when you watch something later and you're like, "Good work, self." Or other <laughs> yeah. person like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That Cinnamon No yes. video. Yeah, the Cinnamon No one, the Dead Space for Kids one was such oh, a good that was video. So good. Like, <laughs> so, it's just like I love that stuff when he's like, "Hey, hey, I need to record something." I'm like, "All right." And like he did an La Noir one. I don't know if it ever came out, but he did one where he was recording me and I didn't know it, and he was just like he was doing the La Noir thing where it'd be like. You know, you'd really yell at someone if they didn't answer the right way or if you were trying to pressure them in different ways. And so, like, he was like, hey, like, you know, come here, I need to ask you something. And he's like, well, like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm doing this. He's like, really? Is that what you're doing? And I was like, yeah, okay, man. He's like, okay, good. That's good to hear. And he, 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 like, he actually had, like, the notebook, too. From yeah, the yeah. Game. So he's, like, writing stuff down <laughs> right. as he was doing it. When I worked in that really office funny. with them, the amount of work he put into videos, like, uh, we just released one recently with How To Stopping. They released, like, five How To's oh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. One of them was a how-to in uh, New Super Mario Bros. U, I think it was, where it was Joel and I playing. That was it. Like, just the two of us playing. And then any time Mario got a mushroom and grew, I turned into Adam. <laughs> we were wearing the same clothes. Like, wow. So it, and, it, and it would go like, and then, like, I'd be Adam. And, like, uh, wow. so Adam That's... and I were trying to, and, like, if they got hit, it would turn back into me. And, like... <laughs> If they got a fire flower, was Adam wearing like a Lancelot helmet? Or, it was like fucking so weird. But it like we kept trying to continue each other's sentences. Oh yeah. And then Adam knew it was pissing Joel off if I was saying something and Adam didn't continue what I was saying. Yeah. So literally, we, we were about to get a mushroom. I was like, "Oh, we got this. We got." And I didn't say it, so I thought Adam would come in and go, "Oh, this." And he turns it out, and Adam goes. Big Mario tuition. And Joel looks at him and goes. He goes, uh, the joke's destroyed anyways, uh, fuck it. <laughs> just kept playing. So was it like when you would get something, you'd pause it and swap out, or? In know. the video, it's just you see Mario, and then you see me flash between me and Adam, and then I'm Adam. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, Adam, but, like, when we were recording yeah. it, we would, like, stop, pause it, Adam, yeah, yeah, come so, yeah, and then, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. And Jesus then the Christ. final one was he got on a Yoshi, 
and it's it's just Adam on top of me, and I'm wearing like a green hat, and we're yes. just like, and that's the end of the. <laughs> the best Joel story I have is from something I wasn't even there for, but Michael talks about it a lot. Is that the old six three six three six office? He came in at one point and went into fetal position on the couch and started rolling back and forth, and I think you were there. Yep, and, it was just yeah. me and Jack in the yeah. office. <laughs> and one of you guys goes, "Hey Joel, what's wrong? What's going on?" He goes, "Ah, oh, my butthole." <laughs> it was like within the first month at work. Yeah, like, so it was, it what's was Joel, like, butthole, when he would just, man. and that was also too when he had like all those fucking stomach problems oh, and he yeah, didn't yeah. go to the doctor for it yes. and he kept insisting like, it's not medical, it's yeah. stress, it's this and that, and, da, da, da. and for like months and months and months, and then he went to the doctor and he's like, oh, I took some pills, I'm fine. Yeah, Bernie. And he literally was like, he was like that, like yeah. he was fine, he was yeah. fucking fine. It was like six months, he was like dying <laughs> yes. from any. He's like, I can't eat anything, I can't eat anything. He had this like fucking insane, crazy diet because any food would make him sick and then yeah. he went to the doctors and he was totally fine so in this instance too you guys were like hey is your tummy okay and he rolled a few more times and he went oh the economy yeah it was, just, it was him talking about like gold and shit it was him talking about like gold and stuff and he's like yeah my butthole my, uh, my butthole and you were like you okay dude and you were just like okay that was that was back when like remember that first fucking christmas card that patrick oh, yeah, made yeah, yeah. and it was it was me you, and Jeff. Jeff and Joel. Jeff and Joel. Yeah. Oh, was, yeah, Joel was on in it. That's the, right. In the fucking picture. Yeah. Joel was in so much shit. Because yeah, yeah. that was when Jeff was gone for a couple weeks and Joel yeah, filled yeah. in. Like, okay. I moved here and then Joel filled in. And, like, me, you, and Joel did Awu for, like, three or four weeks yeah, yeah. in a row. And uh, that was during that. Yeah, I'm just like, Dude, all right, that's working with Joel Heyman, I my, guess. My, like, favorite relationship in the world is the one between Joel and my wife. Because <laughs> the first time I she ever interacted with Joel, it was the first time I ever saw Joel. I think I said this on the spot yesterday, too, a little bit. but Cool, repeat it. We, uh, yeah, who watches on the spot? Say it again. So, no, nobody. Um, oh! Literally, literally nobody. Uh, so Damn! Li- it was at a party John at R- RTX 2013. So it was before I worked, uh, before I worked here. Me... Uh, Kat and Trevor, who also didn't work here yet, all went to this party. Uh, it was like an iron gaming party or something. Okay. And it was like at some bar that had an arcade in it and stuff like that. So we ran into Joel while he was there. Then he was hammered, like so hammered. And uh, like at, at one point he had to go to the bathroom, I guess, and he was near us. And he like looked at Kat and he goes, here, hold that for me. And he g- <laughs> gave her his drink and then he went to the bathroom and he came back and Trevor's like, Watch this. I bet I can set off Joel. So Trevor starts trying to do gold stuff to Joel. And, of course, Joel's going nuts and, like, talking about all the whatever's going on in the economy and all that. And Trevor's just, like, feeding the fire and everything. And Kat's like... Trevor loves to do that, too. He loves yeah, it. Yeah. It's his favorite thing. So, uh... And that's why Trevor and I always go, like, hop, 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 because it's just our Joel impression. <laughs> so, like, um... Uh, Kat at one point goes, do you want the the drink? Like, do you need... <laughs> and, and Joel, like, he, he stops for a second and he goes... Yeah, yeah, you keep it. You keep it. And it was just like his drink. All the ice had melted and everything was like the worst thing. And like that was that was our first ever interaction with Joel. And the second time Kat met Joel, she came into our office when I worked with Adam and Matt and Joel in that one office. And it was just the two of us sitting at my computer work on something. Joel was working on something else. And um, I, you know, I had my headphones on and stuff. And Joel stood up from his desk and he looked at Kat and he was just like, "How do you spell bubonic?" <laughs> And uh, he kind of just sat there for a second. It's like, I can look it up. And he goes, do that. Do that. And he what? sat back down and got back to work. It's like, B U B O I N. I don't even know. He was writing. I'm sure you're fucking it up. Just shut up. He was writing some script for that Outlast thing we did in like the haunted place. Like you And like that never. He didn't remember meeting Kat at the party. So that was the first time he had met Kat. And that was what he said to her. First words. That's, that's How do you spell? Because you ask him now, he didn't remember yeah. that. No, 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 no absolutely no. not. Absolutely yeah, not. no, he doesn't remember Lord. yesterday. Man. Can you spell bubonic? No, no. There's a U hidden in there. There's like an yeah. E and a U hidden in there yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Dude, he like him and Adam killed it at E3. I don't know if you guys watch any of the stream stuff, but like it was literally between every segment they would throw it to them for like ten minutes, and uh, they, those guys kept it funny for the funny. entire yeah, really thing. Funny. They were doing this thing, so like the set, it was a really really tiny location. We were it was like a fifteen by fifteen, but we framed it where it was like one half was kind of the the broadcast area where we had like a couch and two chairs and a TV, and that's where we would interview people. And literally right next to it was this two chairs where Adam and Joel would sit, and um. And it was like, but we would cut away, and so it would look like a whole different location. But it was literally, like, I could just reach out and just like touch him. Like he was right there, 
And so, you know, we would like, okay, let's throw it back to Joel and Adam, and like, and we're gonna get ready for the next thing, and they'd talk, whatever. But there were times where they would be the people interviewing, like, the developers or whatever, so that, like, it'd be them on the side being like, oh, you know, like, oh, we're, you know, we're talking about whatever, like, this movie's coming out, or whatever. It's like, okay, let's, uh, let's throw it to the, uh, the more attractive people over there to talk to the actual, like, developer, and they just pick up their stuff and, like, slowly creep over, <laughs> this... and then, like, sit down on the other side, like, hey, guys, thanks hey. for throwing it over <laughs> to us. Great little clip so... online of them doing that. That's Someone so posted funny. on Reddit or something, and Joel is Joel so perfect when it comes to like you know the comedic timing of yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that where we were hoping like let's throw it to the handsome guys <laughs> and like they're both just sitting there and then Joel will never break eye contact with the camera as he stands up like Adam's looking for where the seat is and Joel's just going off of Adam just, like, <laughs> slowly over to the seat it's just so perfect man that was fun mm -hmm. <sighs> I wonder how Joel's going to survive this. I bet Joel's going to make a lot of money yeah, all probably. this stuff. Oh, well, oh, lights okay. are up. Time to go. We should ask him now. Yeah, where is get he? Get some tips. He's, Joel, get out of here. He was right about the gold thing. That's true. So, uh, mining in you know, California. Come back. thanks for watching this episode of Last Call. <laughs> Lindsay had too much, so yeah. I'm going to finish so, it. Michael's Listen, you need stuff. to drive us home, okay? That's or to true. get lunch. Ooh, we got lunch. Drive us home to lunch. There you go. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. So, uh, we'll see you next week. Invest in gold. Cheers.